Hello friends and family, my name is Skylands. Welcome to my channel, this is where I normally talk about uh, your list videos, right? I do compare contrast reviews. Today's a rant, hopefully that's okay. Enjoy the B-roll gameplay with the commentary, kind of podcast style. Today's rant is going to be me, basically, shitting all over Kickstarter MMOs. Even though I put those in those list videos that I mentioned, and I actually rant about those and in good ways, I rave, I guess you could say. I rave about them, and I spotlight the ones that I am really excited about. You know, I look through the websites, I see the trailer, I'll do a reaction, and I will keep the hype alive. And hopefully you guys do too, and thanks so much for supporting me on Patreon, likes, and definitely fighting with me in the comments. I read every comment, and uh, I don't know, that's actually why I make these videos. It's just fun. I make these videos in replace of me keyboard warrioring, like, all day in the MMO forums, basically. You know, slash our MMORPG, the discords, all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a part of that. I'm a gamer like you. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, um, but the thing that does separate me from just the average consumer is that maybe I'm really fucking mean. I do have a little bit of influence on YouTube and it's just fun to exert, you know, my e peen, I guess. And I, like, I do like to show off. But I also, you know, I do feel a little bit of, um, I guess you could say responsibility, especially now that I have a son. When it comes to how I spend money and how, just thinking about how people should spend money, you know, the relationship between consumer, producer, it's, um, it's kind of, it's kind of important, actually. I mean, if you want your MMOs to be good, then you should probably not support pay-to-win mechanics. Probably shouldn't support gambling mechanics. Do you want all your MMOs to look like mobile games? Because they're starting to, so stop it! Anyways, so it's important, right? I, that's pretty obvious. It's just some people don't have that emotional connection, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to be the, you know, help. I guess a teacher to to show you the emotional connection between things, so you really, really get it. You know, you can read it, but you need to you need to feel it. Somebody who's truly like angry at things. So here's something that, um, you know, from somebody whose motto is keep the hype alive, and I often do list videos for like promoting the crap out of generally Kickstarter games. You know, I'll be like top 10 upcoming MMOs. Guys, look at all these Kickstarter MMOs. Don't they look so cool? Yeah, well, maybe you need to hear it from that person, me, that I don't ever support them. And in fact, I try to talk about them as little as possible even. Again, the e peeing, but I do have some influence. And I hope my peers realize they do too, and we're gonna have videos and rants on those as well. But basically, like whenever you are talking about anything and telling your friends to get into it, or I, I know a lot of you guys probably, you know, you share videos, maybe like this one, or you share products. You know, people talk about like new graphics cards, or of course, new MMOs. And MMOs are the type of genre that it's like, man, you want your friends to play, you, you want a guild to play, Hey, you got to convince everyone to play with you if you want people to play with. So, yeah, it makes sense, especially Ashes of Creation, which is a good example here because Ashes of Creation also doubly has a influencer like weird marketing pyramid scheme thing um, where like basically like lazy, lazy peon can do like a review video like why Ashes of Creation is going to be the next biggest, bestest MMO ever. Also, if you happen to click the link in the description to, you know, support the game, then I get a kickback from that. So, you know, I'm not going to say any, any, really anything bad about the game. But yeah, it's it just becomes a little shady. But that, anyways, so MMOs are something that is just very social, and basically players make it. Even if like a game doesn't listen to our literal words or our suggestions, our money funds MMOs. Our money, literally in the case of Kickstarters, makes these MMOs. You know, and that's really true for anything around the world, basically, is you need to like vote with your wallet. And that's why I'm making this video. So there's a couple of obvious things with Kickstarter MMOs specifically. So let's just say this. One, MMOs make their money on dreams, Kickstarter or otherwise. It's always a promise of new updates. It's always a promise of an emergent, explosive world. Like it's it's supposed to be like explosive and expansive is what I, I should say, where it's just always being added on to. It's always going to, you know, have new stuff to do, new events, hopefully, but definitely, you know, new dungeons, new classes, things like that, new updates. It's supposed to be a more refreshed experience than what we have had, but that's the, you know, that's the dream. Um, whether we actually get that and that's delivered, that's another thing. Uh, segue into Kickstarter. Um, that, that's it. You, here's the thing. An MMO is about dreams, right? Uh, that's why they pay for subscription, pay over time, you know, everything is, is time gated out and, you know, delivered over time. Um, but Kickstarters is like, you can sell all the dreams. 
basically. You, you could sell all of your grand concepts at once, and you can make all of your money at once. That's a huge fucking problem, because you can just say whatever you want, and you can show very little, and with, you know, with the right Kickstarter production team, and yes, you can hire specific production teams to make really convincing Kickstarters on whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. You might notice that a lot of Kickstarters have like a very similar vibe to their trailers and a look to their pages. Yeah, okay, now, now you know, there's, there's entire teams that help produce these. So, you hire professionals, you make a really convincing dream sort of, you know, like, presentation of sorts, and you can make all of your money instantly. So the reason you, again, you pay subscriptions, or there's cash shops, or, you know, like, you have these games as a service that then provide a service to you, but then you need, you know, to keep paying for that service, so in one way or another you pay over time, the problem is, is if you pay all at once with a Kickstarter, which is what it is, it's a pre-order basically, you can say it's an investment, which it also is, but it's basically, you're kind of giving this company all the money ahead of time, and they don't even have to deliver it, which is why people call it an investment, because you, you could not get the game. A lot of these games have just straight up not come out, and it's not just games either. In fact, I was so in love with crowdfunded just stuff in general. I made a whole channel called Crowd Fun, where I was gonna review crowdfunded, you know, gadgets and stuff. And that was around like the surge of like boosted board and all this stuff. And immediately I made one video and I stopped because I could instant, you know, solar freaking roadways. I could instantly tell that this shit was gonna get real bad real fast. And people just started like throwing stuff at the wall, memeing. A lot of stuff got viral. People made a lot of money, but consumers didn't really win in the end there. Every once in a while we get it, we get a win, we get a W here and there, but it's it's really mostly garbage. And some games, you know, they do become success stories, I guess, but really more often than not, no, it's it's just not it's just not worth it. So it's a gamble. If you if you invest into a Kickstarter, it is not a certainty. And it's also not even really worthwhile to do so at all, because really games like an MMO they're gonna be funded like they, they're making this Kickstarter because the game they already have it like allocated their wallet or whatever or they do actually have a fucking publisher already that's willing to pay them or investors separately and they know they're gonna make the game they just want extra money so maybe you could say I guess extra features or whatever but then again that's that whole selling dreams thing it's really just bullshit so there's actually been a ton of games that have failed their Kickstarters and then have still gone on development and released and there are games that have been fully funded like a hundred times over and they never came out. So it's all just that, you know, it just, it just feels bad and it, it doesn't, it's just not good. There's no really protection for the consumer on that part. But then also, you know, the, the big point here though is why I would never support an MMO specifically or games as a service is mainly that point of, look, these are games that are supposed to be like constantly updated. So if they get the vast, 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 like 90% of the, the cash, you know, at the vi even before they even release, then what is the incentive to actually make it a living, breathing game, a living, breathing world? They're just going to kind of poop something out, and it might even be fun for a month or something, I don't know, and then that's going to be it. Instead of having these engaging systems and then a monetization system that's very fair that interjects with those systems, it's like, man... Uh, that, I guess that's hard. I guess that's hard. I guess that's hard to do, but otherwise what you end up having is basically games that sell themselves before they're even out and then they kind they yeah, they kind of just sell out um, and they, they peace out. Basically their eyes glaze over or something um, or they move on to in the next project or I, I don't I really don't know what happens to these companies. Um, so I think there are people who do serial kickstarting and crowdfunding, but in the end mostly it's like man a new company comes out, they have a kickstarter, they make some money and then it fails or you know it comes out and it's not as good as it should have been. And, uh, you know, they just kind of whimper away. And I think that's really sad, you know, because this is a genre all about dreams and hype and excitement and taking that energy of the masses, you know, the massively multiplayer game and making something for all of us to play in together. But really, they almost all, almost all of them really come out as very simple kind of hollow cash grabs. So that's pretty much it. Basically, the incentivization for an MMO developer really should be if you if you wanted to do crowdfunding, 
it should be in services like Patreon, which I myself have, actually. And mind, you'll notice I don't give away anything. It is pure donation. If you want to use Patreon or if you want to use um, like a donation thing, like the Twitch donation thing that I have in the comments or description, you can do that. Awesome. And I think that's great because I just, I'm going to make something and it's going to happen. And if you want to help me and support the ongoing service of finding new games and talking about topics that people are scared to talk about, then yeah, you know, I'll do that. And you, you will help support me, and that'll be awesome. And same thing for MMOs. I do think if you want to use crowdfunding, it should be something like Patreon. It should be like a monthly optional subscription of some sort. And if you do want to create microtransactions of some kind, it don't f stop doing the pay to win garbage. But I do actually support microtransactions to an extent versus just a box fee. Um, it doesn't really work unless you happen to consistently do expansions like Guild Wars 2. That system seems to be working for them, even though they're kind of double dipping, but whatever. Um, I do love RuneScape's just, you know, it's free or monthly subscription. That's also fantastic. So there's a couple of routes to go that I do kind of agree with and that I really do want to promote. But in the end, I could never, ever promote people spending money just, just flat out, like e even, even if it wasn't Kickstarter, but just the idea of you buy a box and then that's it. There's going to be infinite updates from there. How, how, how will there be infinite updates from there? It just doesn't really make sense unless you also do have donations. But then like, I think, I really think you should just pick one monetization scheme and just go with it. In the end, um, Kickstarter just seems really bad. And so I'll end the video actually, because we ranted a little bit too long on obvious, very obvious things. But I will also say that there have, I think in most cases, and I, I kind of teased it earlier, but in, in most cases, Kickstarter games, not only are they all, they're pre-funded basically, um, where they do have investors and things to help them make the game, but they also use Kickstarter in order to get more funding. So maybe, maybe that makes you feel better because your $1 probably helps them to make $2 from a more wealthy investor once they notice that there is attention on the game. So I don't know, maybe you like that or something, but it just feels really kind of shitty that really they're, see, the idea is that they're making a Kickstarter game because they want to make it with with the community. Kickstarter means you are a backer or you are um, you pledge and you become a supporter. You really become, you know, you join the Discord, you get into the private forums, you can you alpha test and see yeah, see we're going into that. You alpha test, you get the product early. You're literally you are actually literally working on the game. If you think testing isn't a job, Q QA tester is a job. Anyway, so you are actually a part of the development of this game. You are working for free and even paying to work in some cases. You are investing. You are an investor, a backer in this game. And the idea, the dream is that, yes, you have all these cool concepts, but it's also supposed to be built with your input in mind, with the community's hopes and dreams intertwined. But really, it's... They're totally focused on the publisher's concepts. They're totally focused on what their marketing is saying. They're totally focused on just raking in as much money as possible instead of making the art that has already been purchased. It has already been funded in any other way. The, like the game should just release. In fact, if a game goes through Kickstarter, I'm going to give you my harsh opinion. I think if you use crowdfunding and the development has been funded and your developers have been paid and you can go and make this game and you can live comfortably and you can make a fun game and then maybe even make more games or in the case of MMOs, you can continue to work on this game. You have, you know, a consistent lifestyle. Um, then why are you being greedy? Why are you double dipping with extra investors? And why are you then selling the game? That, that doesn't make sense. The reason why games cost money is to fund the development. So wh why does a game cost money if the development's been fully funded? That makes zero sense. Every single crowdfunded like game, because it's software, it's not physical hardware, you don't have to purchase it or anything. Every single crowdfunded game, in my opinion, should be given for free. I don't see how it makes any other sense other than maybe because, you know, it's an MMO. It does need consistent, um, you know, money from there. But then it should probably be done through, again, crowdfunding through Patreon. I don't agree with crowdfunding, uh, kickstarting MMOs exactly. Uh, it feels a little weird, but, you know, you guys can do whatever you do. I'm just going to say I'm never going to support it. 
And I myself, I would love to do a crowdfunded MMO. I would love to do crowdfunded game design. But if I were to make a game, it would be crowdfunded via something like Kickstarter. But if it was an MMO specifically, I would use Patreon, is what I'm saying. Just like the moral implication of, yeah, for, for me to uphold is, look, I'm trying to make a consistent service, a games as a service, then it needs to be, you know, via a subscription. That's just, that's just the incentive that I think is healthiest for for both parties, in my opinion. And unless, you know, you just want to get it rich quick and you just want to get some money and peace out without much work and move on to the next project or, you know, whatever. Because that, that seems to be the case. Um, anyways, I don't think a lot of developers really think like that. And I don't think a lot of consumers really realize that implication when you support, you know, something like an MMO on Kickstarter, what exactly you're doing and why we keep seeing more MMOs basically being scams. And it's, you know, a little bit the fault of the consumer. So that's why I'm making this video. Hopefully, you know, you, you heard my heartfelt words and, uh, you know, you got some of your own in the comments below. But if there is a Kickstarter MMO that you do want to shout out, please let us know in the comments below. I am excited for some, but then again, I'm not going to support them. I'm not going to go out of my way to support them um, and promote them. And I myself, um, since I am learning programming and I did go to school for game design, if I make a game, I promise you that I would never... I'm not going to scam, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to give like the, the, the option, the possibility of making a scam via Kickstarter and a games as a service. Um, it just seems really shady to me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's not even talking about like the pay to win rewards in a lot of these, you know, the, the, the reward tiers. Sometimes it's like you get, oh, you get this new like fancy mount that makes you travel three times faster in a PVP open world game. It's, oh man, no, not even talking about all of that shady shit. That is a whole nother video. Just saying, just pure the pinpoint focus on Kickstarter. Should you kickstart support MMOs and should you be really excited for them? The answer is don't support them, but be excited if they come out, sure, but be very weary of after they come out. All their hopes and dreams of what they say they're going to be, you know, even before they release, but even after, you know, the incentive is gone. So we'll, yeah. It just becomes a little fucky, is all I'm saying. So, anyways, uh, for future developers or those who um, were thinking of supporting uh, an MMO, definitely look at services like Patreon, and definitely we need to promote more often games that do their microtransactions um, more consumer friendly. Yeah, we should not support gotchas. Definitely shut the fuck up about pay to win games for sure. And um, we should definitely, like, you know, if a game is fair and fun and has consistently been updated, we need to champion those much more as well. So I'm, I'm talking to my peers mostly in this, which is basically all of you. You know, all, all of you are content creators in your own way, sharing gifts and screenshots and all the words you have to say. You're All of you are reviewers as well. So you all have as much weight of your word as I do. I just make better videos. That's all. I'm just kidding. I make pretty poop videos. Anyways, the rant has gone long enough. I think I've said literally everything I possibly could about this. And yeah, and more. And then re I've reiterated too much. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Much love, friends and family. And I'm sorry for such a toxic video. But sometimes I, I just feel like something things need to be said. Especially right now when there's certain games that are really freaking hyped. Sugar-coated and um, candied up to be like the second coming of Jesus. When we should be a lot more worried and um, I really don't want to see more games following in its footsteps. Even if it is a success. And there have been Kickstarter successes. In fact, I'm going to do a video on those. But just know that, um, you know, where I stand with that. Which is not with crowdfunded games as a service. With a one-time backing kickstarted situation. Yeah, okay. Much love, friends. See you in the next one.